We are broadcasting live from Don't Ever Bake Here Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida, where elections can't be broken because <laughs> they're almost fixed. The fans are ready for some mutant football. Well, I'm gonna make like a presidential election ballot and disappear, because I gotta pee. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Cracksome Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? By <laughs> the looks of it, extra crispy. And he punched his way up. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. First down. First and two. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll be second down and four. to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Third down and six. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, that hits 
that's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. First and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. 
The Whoa. defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Brett, but it's... He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that band Bernie had last year. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that too fast. <laughs> Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh man, he really Oh with the punishing hit. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. First and ten. Welcome to the Groin Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take it. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Third and two. That ball was almost intercepted. A donkey could make this kick. I'll take the bet. 300 bucks. Done. Yeah, I'll make some calls. Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. First and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Oh, 
Third down and, well, good luck. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. And this is going to be a rocket shot to the moon. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit! And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pig, Rand. You're right. First and two. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh, and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And that'll be second down and four. They've got 
got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Third down and five. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a win. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on side. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. Second down in a mile. The defense is on its heels. Great run on that play. Third down and nine. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. Crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. Now, look 
looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. He runs it for three. And that'll bring up third down and seven. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier is saying, well done. Bad baby, bad. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Second down and a very lot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Eight. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Third and two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. And it's 
First and ten. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and six. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and two. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting it. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah, nobody likes to watch that happen to a ref. Yeah, you got that right, Brickhead. They'd rather be down there in the field doing it themselves. A lot more fun. Mm hmm <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Third down and long. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> And it's first and ten. All oh, week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. Oh my god, a man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage with a pocket chaser. Make it snap your way, shorty. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Good return here to set up the offense. He 
He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and more than the QB would like. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and forever. You've got to catch that.
I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're gonna split his skull wide open. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. The defense calls it. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Third down, and the punter is warming up. to the air and came up big. Now they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And we are all tied up and we're going to overtime. Go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream at your television. This is going to be great. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And he just slipped away like, and he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Seven. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and a lot. Perfect pass and a score. Jugulars took their city's name to heart and win the game. 
That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, wait, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Row with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every 